and we got a one, a two, a three, and a hey now, that's right, two videos in one day, can that be? I had to show the process. So what we've got here on this vintage mid-century lamp is I've got tiers, tiers of glass, uh, crystal-like pieces, we're going to call them, like a chandelier, very similar. So I've got this first small one done, and now I'm working on this tier, and I'm just using a toothbrush, and what I'm doing is I'm spraying it, and I will be right back because obviously there is always music situation here in the bunker. My nasty and I'll run back to you just like that and we'll get back to what we were doing. So just using a toothbrush, an old toothbrush, a rag and what I'm doing is just simply going over the glass one time with the toothbrush. Get all that grime You'll notice these ones right here, if you can, you might not be able to see the difference uh, due to the lighting issues, I'm sure, but um, it's popping. If, if I will zoom in on a before and after piece. And so then I've wiped it down, toothbrushed it, and now I'm just taking that rag and I'm going to go over it once, just rolling it in my finger, try to remove as much of the grime as I can. Now, I'm not... Uh, I'm not uh, obsessive about it. I mean, obviously, I am on some level. I'm, I'm cleaning it, but I'm not over the top. I give it one good cleaning and one decent wipe down is, is the best I'm going to do because I am going to sell this piece, and I just need it to look totally awesome when I sell it. So I got 20 bucks into it. Uh, I'm going to ask 150 when I'm done. And done just simply means doing what I'm doing right now, just taking the time. I've probably been working on it a half an hour, and you know, I'm almost, I've got this first big tier done. And you know, so it, it's calming. You know, th this is the kind of the work that I like. I mean, it's not too com complicated. Uh, not a lot invested in it. Just a little bit of relaxing time. I got my metal music playing in the gr background. Uh, you know, sometimes I sell things as is, but in a piece like this, you know, I can't hurt it by cleaning it. You know, you always hear that, oh, don't clean it, don't restore it. I'm not restoring it. I'm giving it some love. I'm, I'm cleaning the glass on it and getting it to pop, and that's actually what will sell it. Because um, when this is done and it's all lit up and it's got its red velvet shade on, I mean, it's just going to be as cool as can be and will instantly be the centerpiece of someone's collection or home. I mean, if you can imagine this on like an entryway table um, in front of your window, uh, if you have a big bay window, if you have this dead center and you turn this on, now this has got tiers of lights also. So there's the lower lights which sparkle behind the crystal prisms, I guess, glass prisms, if that's what they're called and lights them up so you could do that as kind of a, just a beautiful glow sparkle in your in your bay window if you can imagine I always enjoy seeing those homes that have the gorgeous centerpiece lamp in uh, in the window and nothing looks better than a mid-century or antique you know the more elaborate there's always a centerpiece to someone's um, home and so this will just add warmth character be beautiful, unique. You can't go to uh, IKEA and buy this. Uh, you know, are there more of these out there? I'm sure there are, but not many. But you know, the craftsmanship to what is considered white trash, low-level, poor um, income is where this lamp would be marketed back in the day um, for someone to want to have class or to feel classy, gaudy, Liberace-style class. Um, of, of a past bygone era. This is the type of stuff we grew up with. But in today's standards, this is incredible. To sit there and wire all these little glass pieces on here, this would be an elaborate piece, and you just can't buy stuff like this today. And that's why the quality is always in the old stuff. For me, anyway, it's a personal choice. I've been drawn to it since day one as a young boy. I was able to appreciate even the craftsmanship on what would be considered a low income piece at the time that is now a very collectible, unique piece and will add just a beautiful warmth to anyone's home or collection. 
this is just a great piece you know if you got lots of light even during the day with these pieces in the sunlight beautiful so that's what I'm doing that's how I'm spending my morning and I will keep this video short and end it at that and basically give you a zoom in kind of on this so I don't know if you can see but this one I just cleaned and this is one that is not clean next to it and so it's not as sparkly so I've got about four more, and then I've got one more tier, another tier. And years ago, I had uh, an old chandelier I'd come across. So there are some pieces missing, but years ago, I had saved all these pieces, which are the same, universal. And I'll use that to, to replace any missing pieces, etc. Now I'm like always having fun. My trusty dog, Dan, just chilling at my feet while I work in the bunker. Hey now, above ground, another day blast everyone get out there find something do something one thing a day remember that's a positive hey now